So Google made the Pixel 5 official yesterday, which is their flagship offering for this year. The phone comes with improvement over the last year Pixel 4 such as higher refresh rate display, a bigger battery, wireless and reverse wireless charging. The phone is also made up of aluminium which is a welcome change. It's been a while we haven't seen a metal phone. People have been complaining about the glass especially how fragile it is. It seems Google listened to the feedback and made their phone stronger with a metal back. Now I know what you are thinking, this phone has a metal back and at the same time has wireless charging too. How is this even possible? I mean for years smartphone companies were forced to use glass or plastic back for wireless charging to work. The metal cannot pass the wireless charging signals and that is the reason companies stopped using it years ago. But Google has found a workaround. What they are doing on the Pixel 5 is they are 100% using the aluminum bag but they have created a hole in the middle where the wireless charging coil is placed. Now on top of that, Google applied another layer of a material Google likes to call by resin, which by the way is a fancy name for plastic. So basically there is aluminum chassis with a big hole in the middle with the wireless charging coil and on top of all this there is a very thin plastic layer applied so when holding the device in your hand you feel like the plastic not the metal this technique allowed them to use metal and wireless charging at the same time which is smart as it gives the handset a sturdy and rigid structure android authority asked google why they exactly went this approach the answer they got it a weird one because Google say they did it to maintain the thinness of the phone since the Pixel 5 has a bigger battery so in order to maintain the same thickness as last year they had to do this aluminum super thin plastic design. Anyway when you look at the front of the Pixel 5 you can see the bezels all around is actually thin. Look at the chain it has to be one of the thinness out there comparable to iPhones which really surprises me because Google isn't known for their design but I gotta admit the Pixel 5 looks good at the front. Also Google has confirmed to the Verge that the solely rather the and motion sense will come back in the future. They didn't specify but said that the reason they didn't the rather cheap on the pixel is due to the price i mean the chip is very expensive and they wanted to keep the price of the pixel 5 competitive and decided to skip the features this year the way motion sense worked on the pixel 4 i don't think everyone or anyone will ever miss that feature in any case let me know what do you think is 699 dollars a bit too much for what the pixel 5 offers let me know what you think about this in the comment section please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will never miss our videos peace out